Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your Friday, March 23rd, Daily Vibes. This is for all signs. It's just a general whatever reading. But the timing is fluid, so you know, this may not happen today. It could be tomorrow, it could be the next day, it could be next week, it could have already happened, you know. This is what I am picking up on today. Well, Ten of Cups reversed. So somebody might not be happy in a relationship. There could be some relationship trouble. I mean, that's what it means. You know, there could be some dream that is not being fulfilled. I'm sorry. Lack of excitement, lack of growth, lack of expansion. Lack of passion, perhaps in a relationship. Hmm. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone in this relationship has good intentions. But someone else does not. It feels as though you're dealing you're dealing with a situation where there's lust, there's manipulation, obsessions, maybe even addictions that are, that are impacting a relationship. Let me just make sure this is zoomed in. It appears that, you know, something could be just, <clears throat> there could be something that is, uh, the relationship is based on lust, put it that way, okay? And, you know, maybe somebody has come to the conclusion that they want more than this. I want a commitment here. It feels like, you know, there's been a lot of conflicts, there's been a lot of defeat and power struggles, and it's because of some sort of I think it's an addiction, okay? There's this is an addiction, okay? There's some sort of addiction that is is causing these relationship problems. It's, I mean, and this could be a sexual addiction, and I hate to do this in my daily vibes, but, I mean, I mean, I mean, this is pretty, uh, you know, lusty, all right? So, I mean, I don't see any commitment here. Obviously, there's no relationship commitment here. I don't know who this is for. It will not resonate with every single person. So please use your common sense. If there is an element that there is one person in this dynamic that has the best of intentions. But there's another person that is not. I mean, they are, they're, they're lying, they're manipulating, they're not telling you the truth. Because, I mean, what does the devil energy bring in? Lies, right? It doesn't bring in truth. It brings in lust. It brings in false bonds. It bring, brings in manipulation, addictions, and obsessions. It doesn't bring in truth. Let me get this zoomed in. Perfect. All right. And I think, you know, there, there could have been some impulsiveness here. Okay. Maybe somebody jumped into something too quickly, hoping it was going to turn into a, a solid relationship. 
But with this Five of Swords, it's like there was a lot of conflicts right from the beginning. Okay, there was. Well, at first, it was very, there was a lot of attraction, right? Sexual attraction. But it, it quickly turned to conflicts. Now we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And it feels as though, you know, somebody is, is full of it. They're full of passion. They're full of drive. They are definitely impulsive. Somebody acting impulsively. There's karma here. Okay. There's karma here, and there's, you know, a lesson. This is a lesson. It is a lesson, absolutely. Somebody had a lesson to learn about not jumping, not moving so fast. Because it wasn't, it wasn't love. It was lust. So I don't know who this is for. But it really feels like it's time for somebody to do the right thing here. Regarding this karmic situation that came into your life to teach you a lesson. It's time to go down a new path. It's time to start something new and to leave this behind. Because it doesn't bring balance to your life. All it does is cause a big heaviness. Okay, you really need to think about your integrity at, at this time. Whatever happened here, it wasn't the right thing, and I'm sorry. This is what I see. Somebody, somebody acted um, impulsively, and this other person could have already been married. Okay, and you know they may not have told you that. There's lies here for sure. There's lies. They could have been in a commitment, and I feel like now there is. There's a lesson that has been learned the hard way. Because it wasn't, it's not love. It's not love. It's like there's, there's, it's a whole bunch of problems because somebody, you know, was following their. What's the word for it? Sexual desires instead of their truth. And you have avoided a disaster, believe it or not. You have. In regards to this commitment that didn't work out, you haven't avoided a bigger disaster. Thank the Lord, right? It's time for somebody to do the right thing. And bring balance back to their lives in regards to this relationship that isn't going anywhere. Okay, it's not. But like I said, somebody had the best of intentions. And now it is time to move on with this world card. It's time to step over the finish line. You've learned your lesson. It's time to start over. Because that period of time, whatever it is, whatever happened, it's done, it's over. It is. But the death and the world card, these are completions. It's time to start over anew. I think that many of you are probably getting over something that didn't lead to a firm, solid commitment. It was based on lust. And this was a lesson you needed to learn because I think that whoever was on the other side was already in a commitment. Whoever was on the other side was already committed to somebody else. But I think they were being dishonest or something like that. Or you were somebody was being dishonest in this situation. So there was no full relationship that could um, come out of this. Okay? And it was done impulsively. It was done out of sexual desire. And because of that... You know, that's all it was. There was no no commitment here because whoever you were dealing with was already committed to somebody else, even if they were just committed in their head. But for most of these people here that are watching, this person was actually committed to another person. And they may not have even told you that, okay, because they were just looking for sex. And, you know, they wanted the sex, so they didn't bother to say anything. And somebody has gotten hurt because of this. And it feels as though, you know, 
in the long run, you have avoided a much bigger disaster, but this was a lesson, a karmic lesson that needed to be learned. And I feel like now it's time to release this person, and it could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be Capricorn. Anyway, it's time to release, it could be a Scorpio. There, it's time to release. It is time to release this um, person that is causing so much havoc in your life. Okay, there is a lot of havoc here. It's time to bring the balance back. I mean, that's what's going on so that you can feel content. Anyway, it's time for something to end. The, with endings bring new new beginnings. So what I see today is that there are some there's some sort of dream in a relationship that happened way too quickly because there was a lot of sexual desires here and it's kind of, somebody has come to the conclusion that this is all it was it was just sex and you know I'm hurt now I'm really hurt that this never was going to be a relationship because I had the best of intentions here and it feels like now this lesson has been learned to not jump so quickly and you know to to avoid disaster you need to be practical okay so to avoid this kind of thing in the future you really need to dig deep and just to, to see you know where people are coming from before you jump into the sack okay so I mean this is this is what I see I feel like somebody made an impulsive move maybe more than once and now their their dream of being together with this person is dead okay this dream is dead because this other person that you were dealing was with was lying. It was a complete lie, okay? And But this was a lesson that needed to be learned. And I know that you guys don't want to hear this, but I'm not going to make, uh, make it pretty for you. I'm not. So anyway, I feel like this is an ending to a difficult situation so that you can begin again on the right path. Because whoever you were dealing with was a deceptive, crafty trickster. Anyhow, I try to get something for as far as it's over. It's dead. It's dead. Whatever this is, it's over. There's no. It's done. And maybe you need to go through a period of recuperation after this. These lies. Okay. I feel like there's an ending here. There's an ending here of something that one person had really good intentions and was looking for a relationship and the other person was just looking for sex. And now somebody has come to the conclusion that they don't want to play this game any, anymore. And it's time for them to go through their recovery and recuperate and take a rest and let this dream go because it wasn't ever going to work out. The other person I think was attached and I know that's not the reading you guys want to hear but it is what it is right talk to you later